what's going on with your world? This is your boy, Knowledge Keeper, checking in. This is a late night video right here, y'all. So you're going to have to work with me. You know, when I got on this motherfucker, man, I had one mission. That was the motherfucking fuck up Hassan Campbell shit. Plant seeds. And indirectly, I think I did that. You know. So, I ain't about to lay off Hassan Campbell. I'm about to still attack this nigga. But I think I'm about to attack him in a whole different way now. Because I'm going to have to start getting on my dolo shit a little bit more. You know, because uh, I see, you know, I'm checking out ones, man. It's um, trying to either be celebrities or just going for the money. Now, now, now one might ask a question like, shit, what you on here for? You going for the money too? Yeah, I'm going for the money too. You know, but the way I'm going for my money is, ain't necessarily got nothing to do with Hassan Campbell. You know, I got the type of energy, you know what I'm saying, that's going to grow anyway and ones go hate. But I ain't even worried about that shit. Motherfuckers been hating on me all my life. You know? So my main my main goal was to knock off Hassan Campbell. But when it comes to anything else, yeah, I got a couple things to offer. You know, I got some game. I can show a motherfucker how to get all this money easy. You know, but my thing is like, you know, I like to build up man and build up woman and, and give them this, this, this spirituality, man. And, um, you know, answer a lot of questions, man, that they had questions too. And enlightening people, what's going on in this world right now, going on with this planet, man, on the physical level and the spiritual level, man, because we like damn near at the end of a cycle right now, man, and, um, where you have worlds merging, you have you have fourth dimensional merging with this third dimension right now. So we about to be seeing a lot of freaky ass shit going on. They got all types of dealer different programs right now, man, aimed to kill us. Everything that this government put out to us and give us is aimed to kill us or stagnize us in some type of way or have us off balance with himself so we be fighting the next man or the next woman. You know, so that's so that's that's something I bring into the table, man. I ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying, I ain't trying to really teach motherfuckers how to uh be no motherfucking handymans or no motherfucking uh, mechanics and shit like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't. That ain't me, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't I ain't on that. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm gonna I'm gonna teach you lessons, you know what I'm saying? How to navigate through this world, man, how to escape from these demons, how to watch out for these motherfucking energy vampires. I'm gonna show ones how to get away from that shit and uh be able to spot them and see them when they come in, man. You know what I'm saying? Real shit, you know what I'm saying? That that's something for the soul, you know what I'm saying? Like as far as money. Get showing a person how to get money or fix something or do something, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that. But what is wrong when you belittle your motherfucking people and put your people down? You know what I'm saying? That right there ain't right and exact, man. I be seeing these motherfuckers and shit, man. Be certain, be certain motherfuckers, man. Like on the on the social media shit, man. I've been peeping, man, for a while now. Like like niggas that be driving trucks and shit. You know them them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes them niggas, man, their egos be so motherfucking big and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like nigga. Nigga, you doing a dangerous ass job, motherfucker shit. Nigga, you might not make it home, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, nigga, so what, nigga, that you that you pulling this check, nigga? So motherfucking what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We all trying to pull in the check, nigga. Your check ain't no better than the next man. The same way you say you pull in, say you say you pull in 10000 a month, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So nigga laughing at you, nigga, like, nigga, I'm pulling in 100000 a month, nigga, and doing less work. You know what I'm saying? So... You know what I'm saying? So, nigga, it's levels to this shit. The same way you can shit on the motherfucker that's beneath you, nigga. It's a motherfucker, you know, looking down on you, nigga, that can shit on you, nigga. Niggas acting like they got a lot of motherfucking money, nigga. If you could look down at your money, nigga, if you put your, all your money on the floor, nigga, and you looking down on your money, nigga, you don't got no money, nigga. You, you don't got no money, nigga, to this motherfucking goddamn, you got to look up to it, nigga. That's how you know you got some money, nigga. Shit, man, these niggas is funny, man. These niggas is funny over here, man. I'm going to still do my thing, but what I got to offer, you know what I'm saying, outside of God one's life, you know, I got I got, I got, got a lot of creativity in me, man. So, you know what I'm saying, like right now, I'm, I'm writing a book 
a couple books, actually, you know what I'm saying? And we gonna turn these motherfuckers into some little mini movies and shit, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no, no, ain't no books on no, on no hood shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm dealing with witches, warlocks, and demons and shit, you know what I'm saying? That real shit, you know what I'm saying? That shit that motherfuckers don't know about, that shit that the elite, you know what I'm saying? Be really dealing with, you know what I'm saying? I'm dealing with that shit, you know? You know, so, that's my handle on it, man. Cause like I say, it's a lot. It's a lot of shit going on in this world. It's been a lot of shit going on. A lot of shit that's going on, man. That motherfuckers don't even know, man. You know, then they, then they open the floodgates, cause, cause we got caught up in the, um, the information age. You know, so when we got caught in the information age, you know, you had a lot of people getting hit with a, a abundance of knowledge. You know what I'm saying? To where. Motherfuckers was getting overfed, couldn't even digest that shit, you know what I'm saying? Really throwing that shit up, you know what I'm saying? Because it's too pure, you know what I'm saying? Then they throwing uh, knowledge out there that's watered down, that's misleading the people. And that's another thing, you know what I'm saying? Just social media shit, man. That's a lot of motherfuckers misleading and shit, man. One's just playing dangerous games, man. Because when you, when, you, when you attack some of these YouTubers, man... Sometimes, man, that's the, this the only thing they got, man. This the only legitimate hustle that they got, man. So you, so you attacking that, man. That's just like on the streets, man. A motherfucker go come get you for trying to attack them. That's like that's like a nigga sitting on the corner saying, "Oh yeah, them niggas down the street." You know what I'm saying? Selling dummy rocks, man. A motherfucker go come see you for that shit, man. And I be hearing niggas keep saying this shit. You know, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. But all y'all niggas talking about y'all from the motherfucking black community and shit. But y'all invite niggas to pull up. Why would you invite death? You know what I'm saying? Why would you invite murder? Why would you invite homicide? Why? Because a nigga don't agree with you? You know what I'm saying? Like, don't never chase death. Death go come get you when it's time to come. Don't bring death to you. Because what's going to happen? Either death or... Most definitely in jail, because a nigga do pull up on a nigga, what a nigga gonna do, have his camera rolling to show he pulled up on a nigga? If you go beat the nigga ass, you gonna have your camera rolling, right? Because you have to show the world that I pulled up and I beat this nigga ass. I rolled up and I shot this nigga. So you gonna have your camera on. So it's a, it's a, it's a lose-lose. It's a lose-lose. And I'm gonna let y'all motherfuckers know, man, because you niggas LA niggas be wanting to fight, and y'all wanna fight motherfuckers, man. When two men fight, one must die. Now, I'm going to repeat that one more time. When two men fight, one must die. All that fighting shit for little kids and teenagers. And I'm going to tell you why when two men fight, one must die. So, I'm going to give you a quick little scenario. Say, for instance, um, you got a neighbor. And they keep parking in your, um, on the side of your house, whatever, or in your driveway. And you ain't liking that shit. And y'all fight. And your neighbor beat your ass. Your neighbor beat your ass. Now, that nigga parking on your grass now. Or if he ain't parking on your grass, he's still parking in that same spot that y'all got to the fight for. So now what's next? And you a grown man. You done got your ass whooped. You done had to go in there to your wife or your girl, your kids. She see you with your ass whooped. So what's the next move? And this nigga still doing the same shit that you went out there checking him for. So now, at, at some point in time, would you go fight him again? Get your ass whooped again? So now what's supposed to happen the third time? Yeah, you go get a gun, a knife, or some type of weapon, and you go kill that motherfucker. So that's why I say, when two men fight, one must die. Because when the man fight, when two men fight, they fighting basically over a disagreement, or I'm trying to oppose my will some way. So, basically all fights is, I want to oppose my will. Because the winner is going to oppose his will over the loser at all times. All times. The winner can become an oppressor of the loser. Because now I know you can't beat me. So if I if I want you to have nothing, motherfucker, you won't have nothing. Now you damn near something with this nigga bitch because you can't beat him. So now that's where guns come in. Like my, like, 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 my, like, like my big homie say, God made man, but Smith and Wesson made all men equal. But now repeat that. God made man... But Smith and Wesson made all men equal. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. And shout out to the USA, man. Yeah, yeah. Niggas don't know, man. Real cartel shit in Detroit, man. 
And yeah, man, like, and that's another thing, too, you know what I'm saying, like, a lot of y'all guys is coming from these small-ass cities and shit, man, like, and I ain't saying violence ain't everywhere, murder ain't everywhere, you know what I'm saying, but come on, stop the shit, man, your motherfucking cities don't be all like that, cut like that, man, not saying y'all don't have y'all crime, man, in certain little pockets of the city and shit, man, but y'all whole, y'all whole city ain't no team. Y'all city ain't pushing no motherfucking a demonstration like Chicago, even close to it. Nigga, some nigga city ain't even coming up in the top ten as the most dangerous cities. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So y'all niggas stop that shit, man. Stop inviting motherfuckers, to, you know what I'm saying, to pull up. You know what I'm saying? I see niggas showing motherfucking clips with bullets and shit, man. Y'all niggas, what the fuck wrong with niggas, man? But niggas talking about they for the people. Niggas trying to commit genocide. That's what niggas really trying to do, man. And niggas trying to goddamn feed off the people, man, on some goddamn energy vampire ass shit to get the money. Because why the money is energy. The currency is energy. And niggas want that shit. You know what I'm saying? But this is why this shit's so dangerous when niggas trying to expose niggas and come at niggas. That's why I said, man, this YouTube shit might be a nigga last option, man. You niggas got to remember, we are in a pandemic. So the so the jobs, the work, the flow, the drugs, whatever the hustle, ain't working like that no more. So now, a lot of niggas are gravitated to social media, YouTube, trying to get that shit off the best way they can, trying to provide for their families. Then you got niggas, you know what I'm saying, coming, you know what I'm saying, trying to expose niggas, you know what I'm saying, just because and shit. But niggas ain't really trying to help no motherfucking black. How can you fucking around helping the black people by exposing the motherfucker? You know what I'm saying? When I say I'm exposing Hassan Campbell, coming out of Hassan Campbell, I'm saying this nigga trying to build a motherfucking pedophile ring. You niggas ain't liking this nigga because you think he a fag, you think he this, he talking about the black woman. And, I, and some of the shit I heard a couple of motherfuckers just say, you know what I'm saying, like, nigga, what's wrong with y'all niggas? But I'm going I'm to address all that shit, I'm going to address more shit, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, maybe on the live panel and shit, you know what I'm saying, to really, you know what I'm saying, to really give a motherfucker my, uh, my take on shit, on how I really see motherfuckers, you understand what I'm saying? But like I say, man. I'm about to get, have to get ready to get on my blade shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Start taking the heads off of some of these motherfucking vampires and shit, man. Hitting straight in the goddamn heart. You hear me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I am the knowledge keeper. So one thing motherfuckers don't know about me on this YouTube shit. It's so crazy. My, my road dog told me this shit today. He like, man, I was just sitting there thinking, man. And road dog, if you listen to this shit... Just motherfucking give a give a like, man, or just put it up, show you right. You know what I'm saying? Road Dog told me, man. He said, man, I was just thinking, man. Like I can't be, I can't believe, I can't believe how you be knowing what's going on, man. And I'm down there, 500 miles away, man. You be knowing everything, the whole breakdown of it. What I, what, how I'm feeling, what I'm thinking, what I want to do, what she want to do, what he want to do. How it was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm really, I was born with some shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you know what I'm saying? I was born with some shit. So, I'm still trying to harness my energy, though, and my abilities, though. You know what I'm saying? My powers. Everybody got ability and some type of power, man. We just got to use it and know how to harness that energy, man. Got to know how to harness that energy. One thing you got to do is start eating right, working out. You know what I'm saying? Getting a good sweat, med med meditating. Because you're spiritual, nigga. Don't mean you just no motherfucking, uh, no goddamn, no goddamn priest or nothing. No goddamn nun. You know, because a goddamn, uh, 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 a Buddhist motherfucker would beat your ass too. So don't get, don't get shit twisted out here. You know what I'm saying? Because motherfuckers say they goddamn spiritual or trying to live a, a, a right, a right path, but me personally, you know what I'm saying, I live a, I live a balanced path, I deal with dark and light energy and shit, you understand what I'm saying, because I know everything, you know what I'm saying, come from the darkness, so I deal with that dark energy, yeah, yeah, for real, for real, I show a motherfucker how to goddamn, I ain't even gonna say all that, man, I ain't gonna say that shit, <laughs> niggas talking about some goddamn, <laughs> some tools, niggas show niggas some tools, for real, nigga, you know, hey, but look, man, I ain't gonna, uh, I ain't gonna talk too much right now, like I said, I'm going to try to take that shit uh, to the big screen, man, and really see what this shit do. You hear me? This your boy, Knowledge Keeper, man, checking out. Like and subscribe. Peace. Stay safe. And if you out here still moving around, because it's like it's 3 in the morning right now where I'm at, drive safe.
And please don't have no road rage. Because you can lose your life. Peace.